All right, YouTube, JW Solo USA. Today, we're about to get back the Magnum back live on service. Well, folks, you can see the Magnum is here and it's already about to do its business. Uh, so it's going to be replacing the Kotec. The Kotec has been running for quite a while, 24 volt system. Uh, I want to switch this machine so that you see how these machines are performing you know for 24 volts and folks this machine is really heavy Woo! well anyway this is how the thing is gonna go folks and i want to show you the specs here i already opened the side here so this is the magnum the ms um 4024 and you can able to um this is a 120 to 40 volt you can see you can take two hots in and a neutral ground and hot out he has two of them for each side so folks i'm gonna show you here here is the specs for the magnum it's a inverter charger continuous input current will be 204 amps dc at uh 24.2 volt DC and the output is going to be output current output wattage going to be 4000 at 25 degrees Celsius so folks you can see just a surge amps folks this thing is surging really high and you can see pull about 100 amps AC at 1 millisecond 60 amps AC at 100 millisecond it surges power of 6,500 real watts for 5 seconds. So folks, the AC current uh, distortion is at rate 5% THD. The output provided with integrated integral protection against overload. So it has, see right there, a 30 amp breaker. So folks, this is the device right here. It's a made in USA. All right. So look at this. Wow. Look at the charge. The charger can use up to about 30 amps at 120 volt on one leg. See that? Well, this is what we're going to be dealing with here, folks. This is what we're going to be dealing with here. The Magnum is going to go back live. So look at this. And folks, you see how this machine is well built. You can see live from here at the top. This is where the heat dissipate. You know, folks, I don't have all the other components that go with it. The full kit, you know, you can mount it on the side. Here's a kind of plate that deflect the, like a heat something, whatever it is. And with a magnum breaker and whatever combiner you call it but i'm telling you this baby is heavy the way the weight is uh, aligned to this thing is really weird so like a huge transformer up here if you're trying to take i'm trying to take it at the bottom so look you can just go bloop. look at that so all the weight is up here well folks this is the thing I already have my stress reliefs here. Tie them up here. You can get all the remote and all the um, the battery temperature sensor, uh, the stack part, uh, port, sorry, the charging and inverter lights on and off right there. So there's a switch in here on this little hole. It's just like a switch. Uh, it's right here. Okay. The light, these are lights gonna be flashing back and forth. There's a switch, so it tells you on and off right there. The switch, see that? So, is uh, you got the the boots are all out. You know, it has a black and red boot that covers this terminal, and the positive and negative. So this is the ground log right here. So folks, um, this is the way. This is underneath the magnum. And this is where you're gonna just gonna put a bolt or screw, sorry. It's a very really strong, robust one. Then you can just and then hang this thing and slide it all the way down. So this is how we're gonna be 
um, mounting the magnum is gonna go back live so we're gonna test it and from there when we are done with this one guess what who's coming the main man is coming back live he's gonna be live he's taking care of his business he's taking care of his command center which is the outback the FX 3048 when the magnum is gonna retire and now the Kotec has already served us from spring and all the way down to summer. And now it's almost very close to midsummer. So the Kotec is going to be taking a break again while the Magnum is going to be taking over. And after the Magnum, you know, folks, it's going to be kind of exciting transition. So let me show you guys here. Here is the battery temperature sensor, you know, hooks up to this thing right here. And for folks... For you guys that doesn't know how the Magnum works, so the battery temperature sensor is just a, a RJ12 cable, just like a, a telephone jack. Okay, so if you count from here, you see one, two, three, four. It even give you Magnum, even makes it easier, color coordinated. So the yellow you can tell is from battery temperature sensor to take the first. Uh, indication right here to the last hole right there you plug it all the way like this voila it's in there so yellow to yellow so you have to do that color coordination well folks I'm telling you the Magnum is a robust machine tough machine you know and Magnum is always defending its title he used this for big um, uh, project and all that stuff so folks this is a uh, the the 24 the 4024 4000 watt 24 volt all right youtube this is gonna be right here like I, I was telling you guys magnum is so smart and trying to make things really easier for the customers and remember you see the yellow um color coordination it has a yellow here you have to stick it on the yellow which is the remote you can't go wrong with that if you can't read you follow the instruction with the colors right here you know, helps you right there. So now come to the battery temperature, um, the remote for the controller right there. See the blue? It's going to plug right here and plug it right there. The blue is right there. So, folks, everything seems to be a little bit simple. And right here, if you look at this stuff and come back here, you see that comes the Magnum. The controller right here the remote it's really 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 portable system it has the same thing rj12 connector so plug snap 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 easily so look at this this is awesome 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 so if you guys are looking for something really heavy duty robust big time take all kind of beating and all that stuff the magnum can give you all that stuff right here from minnesota jw solar usa and this is how we're going to start this project we're going to be transitioning and they got a remote temperature sensor right here and they even have just like a little block right here it goes right there on the magnum so folks this is the deal this is how everything is working here so please give us a like and share because we're going to be testing again this machine this machine gonna be going live so the magnum I'm telling you so look at that all right so I'm wrapping up this video when I installation I get to the installation process and folks I will let you I'll let you see how everything went and we are gonna be testing again the Magnum and running it full time, folks. Full time. All right. Take care, YouTube. And this is JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. All right, YouTube, JW Solar USA. Um, just want to get back to you, keep in touch with all the updates and upgrades going on here in the system. Never stop. Constantly moving. Doing our thing here. 
right here is the magnum the magna sign is up folks magna sign is up so i just want to give you guys a heads up the days are already numbered for the cool tech test is over and now we are on the magnum so we're going to be testing magnum till probably fall and fall we're going to transition to um the outback the main guy is coming back outback uh, FX 3048 um, is going to be coming in, taking care of business, taking over for the winter from fall all the way winter. We're going to be running the Outback. All right. So now Magnusign is taking care of business, wiring all completed. Right here on the corner here, that's where you do all the connection for the input, output, AC out and input. Folks, this one is a 240, it, it powers two two legs as well, 240, uh, 120, 240 can do both on them. So I'm going to, I probably want to do a test into this so that I can able to run my um, air conditioning just to give it a try with my battery bank, new batteries. And I want to try more of the, like uh, um, the dryer, see, uh, it's going to pull up the dryer. And I'm going to be, uh, I want to test the stove as well, folks. It's a lot of testing. So I want to keep you guys, um, the Kotec has done a great job. And uh, just want to show you guys all these machines, how they work. So far, so good, folks. I um, just want to bring you up and see here. I got the um, um, the, uh, the thing is up there, the, the Magnum um, remote. And... Um, we have the hub, we have the Outback, the classic 200, and we got a, the mate down there. So all these things are going to be incorporated. So um, the uh, remote over there is going to be probably here. I'm going to put it right here so they can match right there with, uh, with the uh, mate, two, the mate um, for the Outback. Okay, so when I transition back from... from um, Magna sign to Outback, the mates can take care of uh, the programming for the Outback, and um, the Magna sign is gonna be up there, and the mate, um, sorry, and Outback gonna be as well because I wanna run a 24 volt and 48 volt simultaneously this uh, winter and see whatever um, more if I have more low lights, no much power coming in. So I want to use a 24 bouncing, 24 volt, and 48 volt, 24 volt, 48 volts. Well, one charge controller is going to go for one, for 24 volts. One another charge controller is going for 48 volt. So running the Magnusign inverter, this is the MS. Um, yeah, is the MS here? You guys can see is the MS 4024. So it's 4,000. 4,000 watts, 24 volt, and the Outback's gonna be a 3048, which is a 3,000 volt, 3,000 watts, sorry, at uh, 48 volt. So these systems all gonna be incorporated together. JW Solar USA, thanks for watching, and please subscribe, like, and share. Tomorrow we're gonna give you a test. Have a good night.